Hi, and welcome to another episode of What the Heck Are We Building here at Minnesota Implement. This is one of our Super Duty tree pullers. Now, this one's kind of unique in the fact that it is built for a John Deere tractor. So this is built to be put on a utility tractor. The gentleman who uh, purchased this unit has a, uh, I believe it's about a 35 horse machine that has about a 2200 pound lift. Now, ultimately, the Super Duty unit is a little bit big for a 2,200 pound lift, but what he really wanted was this 10 inch wide by 10 inch deep jaw of the Super Duty, and then he also wanted this unit made to fit on three point hitch. So you can see our pins and ears here. Uh, this unit can go both on the front and rear of the machine. So even though he's got a little bit smaller tractor, you figure if you got 2,200 pounds lift on the front, you're going to have close to uh, probably 3,600 on the rear. So that makes it worthwhile to make the heavy duty or the super duty unit for that machine. Uh, also, at some point he may upgrade to a bigger machine, and by going to the biggest option we've got, he's not going to outgrow the puller if he upgrades his machine. So this unit here has the 10 inch wide by 10 inch deep jaws. It has a three and a half inch diameter cylinder in there. So that gives you uh, roughly 25,000 pounds of grab force on the tree. Uh, you can see the feet underneath there for storage. Uh, those come off when you use the unit. This unit was ordered with lines and couplers to match his machine. So we've got the Pioneer male couplers there, which will mate up with his machine. Um, again, just a real all-around nice unit. I want to show you real quick. <clears throat> John Deere does have two different face plates of this same style. So they're both the same width, but what the difference is is the height difference between the hook and that bottom pin. So a lot of times we'll have to ask you which one you've got. So you can see that one there is about 14 and 3 8 from the top of the pin. To the inside of the hook. So the larger version is about 16 and 5 8. So this one being the 14 and 3 8 is a smaller one. Uh, like I say, 16 and 5 8 would be the larger one. So when we ask for those measurements of which plate have you got, that's what we need is from the top of the pin to the inside of the hook. Uh, like I say, the width is the same on them, um, but that way we know which one we need to build for you. We can build them with both sets of pins. If you've got a small tractor and a large tractor, we can put both sets of pins on there. Uh, typically we get uh, $200 extra for the second set of mounts. Uh, the same is true. This unit being built with the uh, accommodation for the front of the tractor, excuse me, as well as the rear of the tractor, that's $200 extra to put the three-point mount on there. Uh, mainly because we do need to restructure the unit a little bit. Uh, you can see there's some clearance here on our normal one that is tight to the faceplate. So we had to add two inches of clearance there in order to make room for these pins to fit in there for your arms to mate into. So there is a bit of reworking on the unit when we do multiple mounts. But that's one of the advantages of us being a smaller shop, is we can custom build something to fit whatever you need. But this unit here should service the gentleman for uh, plenty long. The only maintenance you ever really have to do to it is you do want to grease this rail here. So that is a steel on steel connector. Um, so slather that up real well with grease every couple hours of use. And should be a good unit for about 20 years. So thank you for watching.